I want to say you, everybody, so everybody in Africa, a black continent, believes that this is Jesus Christ. Now I'll ask you another question. Where have any one of you read in the Holy Bible that Christ looked like this man right here? Where has your pastor read to you in the Bible that Christ was a white man with long stringy hair? Nowhere in the Bible. Let's get Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the Bible said this is John the Baptist. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word of revelation means to reveal. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which might surely come to pass. And so now, Christ gave a description to John the Revelator to show unto the servants things which must surely come to pass. Why? Because Christ knew prophetically that the European colonizers would come into Africa but not only take your resources, not only take your gold, not only take your land, but also take your people, the slaves, send them to America and then give you a white image to worship. Now go to verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So the Bible says, Christ's head and his hairs on his head were white like what? His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. What people on this earth have woolly hair? I'm asking you a question. What people have woolly hair? Huh? You say what? Okay, what people on this earth? What race of people? Do white people have woolly hair? You know what woolly hair is? This is woolly hair. This is woolly hair. Do white people have woolly hair? You said white people have woolly hair? No. Do Chinese people have woolly hair? No. Do Japanese people have woolly hair? No. Do black people have woolly hair? Black people don't, you don't have woolly hair? You have woolly hair. You have woolly hair. You have woolly hair. You have woolly hair. So the Bible's describing Christ. His hair texture to be what? White and what else? Woolly. Now, does this image right here have woolly, white woolly hair? No. So why is it, when I ask, who is this image right here? You said it's Jesus Christ automatically. But when you read in the Holy Bible, the Bible doesn't talk about a Christ to have long, stringy brown hair. It talks about the image of Christ to have what? White, woolly hair. The hair text of Negroes, so-called blacks. Go to the Ghana, the Shantis, the Europas, the Igbos, in Africa, in America. All of us have woolly hair. You know what? His hair and his hairs were white like wool. Wait, hold up. Check it out. That's why it's snow. And his eyes were as the flame of fire. Now since Jesus Christ's eyes was as the flame of fire. He the white of his eyes were what? Red. Because what? Christ drank wine in moderation. Christ's first miracle was to turn water into wine. Read. Verse 15. Huh? And his feet like unto fine brass. Now, it says Christ's feet was like unto what? And his feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? It says his feet, Christ's feet. Now I'm looking at your feet. It says Christ's feet. He's given the description of the color of his feet. What's like to fine brass? What color is this? Huh? Like a golden brownish, right? Like a to fine brass. Read. And his feet like a to fine brass. Read. I said they burned in a furnace. As if they did what? I said they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it turn? So it says his feet, Christ's feet, right? It's like it's a fine brass as if it burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it turn? If I burn rice, what color will it turn? Yeah. It would turn what color? Yeah. You said white? And it would, as if it burned in a furnace. What color would it turn? No. Hey, she got the idol too. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, I didn't see that little thing. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, sis. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, come back. Read it again, read it again. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. And it's been like unto fine brass. I said they burned in a furnace. It says it's feet. Like unto fine brass, meaning in comparison to 
use the color of brass. As if they did what? As if they burn in the furnace. If you burn anything in the furnace, what color does it turn? Come here, sis. Come here, sis. Because this is now, quick, sis. Come here, come here. This image right here. Can we read anything up in the Bible about this image? Can you find this image in the Bible? Come here, brother. Come here. You're not done. We're not done with you, brother. We're not done with you. Because the first thing you said, actually, who's this man? You said it's a Satan. Now, based upon the description we're reading in the Bible, you said you got to take this off. Because we just read that's not Christ going to the Bible. Christ warned us that no man deceive us. But if for some reason in Africa, everywhere we go, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Liberia, why is it in the blackest continent do we have white images all over the churches? But not one of you read in the Bible that Christ is a white man. Now where, but what? But yeah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, same thing. Yes. Translate for me. Get it, 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 get it. Get it, get it. What? Hey, brothers, brothers, come back, come back, come back, come back. Sis, come back, come back, come back. I right, read it again. Read. Revelation chapter one verse fifteen. And it's feet like unto fine brass. I said they're burned in a furnace. So the Bible says Christ's feet was like unto fine brass. That's right. As if they're burned That's in the furnace. Read that. So, where is it that in Ghana, Sierra Leone, everywhere you go, all over Africa, a black continent, do you have white images in your churches, in your walls, on your necks, on your chains? Where is that in the Bible? Who taught you that Christ is a white man? Who taught you that Christ said, Lord, string your hair, but your enemy? You allowed the Europeans, the French, the British, the Dutch to come into Africa, not only to take your land, take you as slaves, right. take the resources of the land, right. but also take your mind. That's not right. only did a white man colonize Africa, but a white man colonized your mind. Be that. Christ warned us for the Europeans to come into your country that a lot of you received the curriculum, a lot of you have been baptized by the Europeans. You took on the religion. Who taught you to be a who taught you to be a Jehovah Witness? Who taught you to be Seventh day Adventist? How you doing, sis? How you doing? Let me ask you. You go to church? What's your religion? Huh? You're Presbyterian. Okay, you're Presbyterian. Now let me ask you a question. When Christ came on the scene. Was he teaching to be a Presbyterian? Was he teaching to be a Jehovah Witness? Was he teaching to be a Seventh day Adventist? What about to be a Mormon? So, why is it today in Ghana, in Africa, all throughout the world, we took on the religions of man? Where did Christ teach us to be all these things? Give me that in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 13. Because when you read the Bible, all of us are divided in Africa, right? One person will say, I'm a Baptist, based upon John the Baptist. So they say, you know, I'm a Baptist, so I'm going to baptize. One person says, I'm a Pentecostal, because of Acts chapter 2. Another person says, I'm a Roman Catholic. But Christ was on this earth, and he was teaching the gospel. When did he say to be any of those religions? Do you believe in the Bible? So why do we take one? Hey, how you doing, brothers? Come here, come here, come here. So what, what's your religion? Huh? Christian, what, uh, under what den denomination? Presbyterian? Roman Catholic? Huh? Catholic? What about you? Hey, sis. Hey, brother, come here. Let me ask you a question. What's your religion? Now, all of us were in the Shanti, right? So how is it that we're one great nation of people, we're one race of people, who are all divided by what? Religion. That's how this contention, this is divisions, this arguments. No, my Jesus and my beliefs is real. Your beliefs is real to you, right? But read that in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. The Bible says that we all speak the same thing. When Christ came on the scene, he said, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. That's what the Bible says. Christ, when he came on the scene, Christ didn't say that. You're a Baptist. You're a Jehovah Witness. You're a Presbyterian. You're a Episcopal. You're a Mormon. You're a Muslim. Nowhere in the Bible who did that. 
When a white man came, the French, the British, the Belgians, when they came and they colonized Africa, they divided Africa to 55 countries, they said, you're Shanti, you're Ghanaian, you're Nigerian, you're African, you're whatever, oh, you're Liberian. But Africa's one continent. But how's Africa divided into 55 countries? How's Africa divided by more than 10 different religions? Because we allow the enemy to come into our land and give us a false teaching, a false religion that did not come from the Messiah. Read it again. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you. That there be no division among you. If it's not in the Bible, the Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. But there's division amongst us, right? Don't you think that? How can Africa come together? You have Africans divided by different countries, also by different political beliefs, as well as different religious beliefs. That's why Africa cannot come together as a people and provide for their own. You gotta go to Russia. In um, Burkina Faso, you have Ibrahim, the new president of Burkina Faso. He has to go to the um, to the Russians rather than going to the French. In Ghana, some of you guys allow the Chinese to build your streets. Why can't Africa depend on himself? Because Africa is divided by religion. Africa is divided by politics. When the Bible says that we all speak the same thing. There should be no division amongst us. Read. That ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That we be perfectly joined together in the same. How you doing? Come here, brother. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Because if I ask you a question, you're going to say the same thing. Now, be verse 13. Be verse 13 now. Read. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 13. It's Christ divided. What's called crucified for you? Read it. Read it again. It's what? First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 13. It's Christ divided. It's Christ divided? Let me ask you another question. Because Paul says, it's Christ divided. Did Christ come to teach us religion? So the question is, who came and taught us religion? Historically, what happened in Africa? Did we learn the different religions that divide us as a people today? Because the Shanti people are one people. Me, me and you are the same people. The difference is, they took me from El Camino El Castle and took me to America. Now I have a question for you. Is Christ divided? What color is Christ? You don't know? You don't know? What about you? You don't know? What about you? Alright. What colors does the world say Jesus Christ is? You're on. What color does the world say Jesus Christ is? Huh? White. You say white? What about you? Oh, you white. Now, do you believe in that? Do you believe that? Give me Matthew 24 verse 3. Because Christ warned us, right? Because some people might say, it doesn't matter what Christ looks like. Christ could be blue, black, green, orange, yellow, tan, whatever color you want it to be. Christ could be a Chinese. But is that point to the Bible? We allow people to come in to infiltrate our minds, to colonize our thoughts, and to push their ideology to us. But look what Christ told us in the Bible. He warned us of these things to come in Africa. All throughout the world where the influence will be scattered. Read that. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. So the Bible says, the first thing, how you doing brother, come in. So the first thing the Bible says, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name and say, I am what? And many shall come in my name and say, I am Christ. Say, I am Christ. That's right. Now, in order to understand whether you've been deceived or not, what do you need to know about Christ? If I, if I, say, if I say to you, right, I want you to meet my cousin down the block. Now, what do I need to know about my cousin? What do you need to know about my cousin? I say to you, right, what's your name? Huh? Helen, what's your name? Philip, what's your name? Ke Dennis, Dennis, Philip, Helen. If I say Helen, Philip, Dennis, I say that I want you to meet my cousin Tyrone down the block at 12 o'clock. Make sure you speak to the correct person and he's gonna tell you things that I told him to tell you. 
What do you need to know about my cousin, Dennis, Philip, and Helen? Huh? Okay, what about you? Okay, you need to know his name. What else? What about you? You say his name. Give me something different. You said the country he's from? All right, what about you? Huh? His color? Okay, how he looks, right? I say, hey, meet my friend. I want you to meet him. He's going to have a green shirt on, right? He's going to have sandals on. This is his hair texture. But if I don't tell you what he looks like, what can happen? I can go to anybody. I say, hey, are you this person? They say, yeah, I am that person. They say, yeah, I am that person. Because you, you didn't ask the question, what does he look like? So now he's saying, I am that person. Now what that person could do to you? They could rob you. They can steal from you, they can kidnap you. What has the white man done? Because black people say it doesn't matter what Christ looked like. What did they do to us? They robbed us, they still stole us, and they kidnapped us. Read Revelation chapter 1. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show things which are must surely... Read it again, slowly. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So now, this is written in the New Testament, the last book of the Bible. Annis, Annis. Annis come here, Annis. Let me talk to you. I like that shirt. Annis, come here. Annis, I need you. Annis, you look like a smart guy. Get, come over here. Come over here, smart guy. Yeah. Read it again. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ, meaning the revealing of Christ. To reveal what? How he looks like. Annis, he ain't going nowhere. Annis, come over here, Annis. Read. Which God gave unto him. To show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. So the Bible says Christ will be revealed in the book of Revelation. Why? He said to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. Why did Christ have to reveal himself on the in the book, in the Bible, of things which must surely come to pass? Remember, he warned us. He says, Take heed that no man deceive you, right? For many shall come in my name and say, I am Christ. Now Christ is going to give a description of how he looks so that you're not deceived in the last days. So when they come up with different images of Christ, he said, no, that's not my Jesus. That's not what the Christ of the Bible looks like. He doesn't have the hair textures of the Bible so looks like. He doesn't have the skin tone what the Bible talks about. No, it's that his teaching. The problem is, you go to church, but nobody opens up the book to see what's in the book. You take whatever they tell you. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hair were white like wool. Come here, let, let me use you as an example. Hey, my man over there. So the Bible says, you come in. Come in, come in. My man with the red pants. Come in. I know you hear me. His head and his hair. Come in, red pants. Read it again. His head and his hair come were brothers. white like wool. So the Bible says, his head and his hairs were white like wool. God's now, when you look at this image, the images that they have in your churches, the images that you see in your TV, the images that they have open. So these are the images they put. So the very first description of Christ, that his head and his hair were white like wool. 